Breakpoint, 15 countries, 12 finalists, one amazing vision. Empower Caribbean companies to take on export markets. Over 13 weeks, we meet more than 30 companies selected from over 15 Caribbean countries. We follow their journey, from their first coaching sessions at the University of the West Indies School of Business in Barbados, where they not only learn the fundamentals of business communication, but have all of their presentations individually reviewed and critiqued by business development educators. Amazing advice, unparalleled insight. Dedicated entrepreneurs vying to convince four judges to choose their company to be among the 12 finalists who travel to London to make their final pitch in front of angel investors, distributors and retailers that could change their future and move them forward. Last week on Breakpoint. What will allow you to keep the USB? We intend to produce products that will really stand out. He said, hey man, I need to get some seasoning to do curry. And I said, but it's not for curry, it's for, it's for, it's for barbecue. He said, no, the thing good for everything. I put it even in my room. Is there anything that sets you apart? you never find a jerk seasoning that has all the ingredients that's outside. You want to create a television documentary series that has cross-border appeal? I'm not convinced. I'm not either. The regional judges viewed presentations from four budding entrepreneurs vying to win the chance to pitch to venture capitalists in London. Who will it be? The agro-processing company that has already enjoyed export success? The emotive condiments producer who believes Breakpoint has come at the perfect time for his company? The dual-faceted designer and TV documentary producer looking to build on synergies with Scandinavia? Or the passionate producer of the aptly named Good For Every Darn Thing Sauce? The decision was so tough the judges decided upon two firms, Denise Palmer from Southside and Vassal Stewart from Woodsman. One thing I would want everyone to know about Southside we emphasize on quality and that's why our tagline is quality and taste is just as good. We believe that once a product is tasted then we are going to have a winner. So our focus notwithstanding the importance of preparing for the presentation that what we really want to have is the opportunity for the product to be evaluated by the potential um, investors. Breakpoint, a Caribbean export development agency initiative to assist innovative entrepreneurs to break into Europe. Well, this Breakpoint represents so many advantages to my business. I think Breakpoint and EPA just allows us to access greater markets that we don't currently have access to. A regional competition showcasing Caribbean products and industry. Our brand is banana fibre recycled paper. A fashion designer from Trinidad and Tobago giving training and valuable expertise. Still, I'm not sure what she's selling. It discredits everything else you've said. But I think you're going to make it successful. Creating a catalyst to take the Caribbean to the world. We have an innovative project and product that is um, capturing a niche market. Hopefully, Breakpoint will open the doors for me. Here are the judges for Breakpoint. Six of the most enterprising and successful businessmen and women in the Caribbean. Today, they're about to make or break the dreams of these budding entrepreneurs. These leading business people bring years of experience to the table. Preeminent business leader Dr. Basil Springer was a consultant to the Caribbean Development Bank and established the Caribbean Business Enterprise Trust, Inc. Awarded the Barbados Gold Crown of Merit in 2000, Dr. Springer is also a motivational speaker and provides workshops on his management of business matrix. I've had a lot of experience over the last 12 years in enterprise development. So when I was asked by the Caribbean Export to participate as a judge in this very interesting exercise, I could not refuse. Joseph Mathalon has a wealth of experience in the business world. As the owner and principal of Jamaica management consultancy firm CSL Projects, he is an expert in restructuring businesses to improve logistics and efficiency. I found it was very, very interesting, a very useful program. It gave me an opportunity to mentor some of the young um, upcoming um, entities in, in the region. Genevieve Jodhan is the Executive Manager of Export and Business Development at one of the world's leading manufacturers of rum and bitters, Angostura Limited. She is currently the only female logistician in the Caribbean. I agreed to be a judge at Breakpoint because of my experience in trading with the EU markets and having full-hand knowledge of how difficult it is to actually stay in the market once you enter. Alan Brzezinski is Managing Director of preeminent Grenadian retailer Jonas Brown & Hubbard. Well versed to advise our candidates, he is a past president of the Grenada Chamber of Industry and Commerce. I am always very impressed to see Caribbean people who have the entrepreneurial spirit. CEO of leading advertising agency Freestyle Inc., 
Kenny Green's diverse portfolio also includes co-founder and director of mobile content provider Pixon Phones and director of Natural Isle Realty. I felt that it was an excellent opportunity to give, to lend some of my experience to the program and also to get an understanding of what is going on around the region in terms of people building capacity to be able to go into other markets. Notable investment and securities dealer Christopher Williams is the co-founder and CEO of Proven Investments Limited, a multi-million dollar investment company. He was also deputy chairman of the Jamaica Stock Exchange. I chose to be a judge in Breakpoint because of the opportunity that it presents, not just for a region, but for the individual entrepreneurs to develop. And I think that what we're trying to do here is really build a generation of entrepreneurs that will last way beyond our lifetime. And so my ability to participate in that process is something that you just can't say no to. Together, they will decide who will go forward. Let's now take a look at the criteria for Breakpoint. The candidate must show a clear opportunity for the product in the market. The firm must demonstrate a competitive level of product and innovation. There must be a compelling position on which to build the brand. The product must be in a position to benefit from the advantages of the EPA. The firm must be able to show market readiness for entry in less than six months and the candidate must be able to show industry knowledge and possess management and leadership experience. The first step for the budding entrepreneurs was to submit a video pitch to Breakpoint. The successful firms then participated in a preparatory session at Cave Hill School of Business in Barbados. FaceTime with top mentors who analyzed their business model and advised them on preparing their pitch. We begin in Barbados with Octopus 3, a paper manufacturer that produces an environmentally friendly banana fiber recycled paper from shredded office paper and banana trees. Company founder John Fain Cleaver is confident about the uniqueness of his product. We have an innovative project and product that is um, capturing a niche market that um, is growing uh, through environmental concerns and um, etc. Cetera, et cetera. We make handmade banana fiber recycled paper. We collect shredded office paper diverting it from the rapidly filling landfills and collect banana trees from local farmers after they have harvested the bananas. Put together, this makes biodegradable handmade paper. The demand for our products is a mixture of private clients and retail outlets. Our long-term goal is to develop a mechanized paper mill in Dominica. This will produce banana fiber, recycled paper, photocopier and printer paper. We are not business people, but we know our business and we know where we want our project to go. Trinidadian fashion house Mailing is renowned for the quality of its fabrics, design and functionality. Company founder Mailing has had 30 plus years in the business, building a premier brand throughout the Caribbean and beyond. Fashion is really my passion. Um, I'm known throughout the Caribbean. I've appeared at many Caribbean fashion weeks and other fashion weeks throughout the region. So I think my brand is well known throughout the Caribbean. I also export export to Jamaica, Barbados, St. Lucia, but you know, the market has shrunk because of the economic downturn, and now I'm building it once more. I produce a retail line for my shop, but I also export women's apparel for the resort season. So, you know, this is not anything new to me. My aim is really to get the product out, probably to more Caribbean islands, and certainly I would love to get it to Europe. Factoid about the Economic Partnership Agreement, EPA. The EPA reinforces the preferential opportunities of the Lome and Cotonou agreements, which besides driving growth in exports of bananas and rum, offer new advantages such as the export of sugar. Don't miss what happens next as the firms head to their coaching sessions on Breakpoint. Back at Octopus 3, John was looking to gain some pointers from his coaching session. I feel good. I mean, it's a good idea because we've practiced it within ourselves and with people around us with the, um, the sessions, etc. So what we want to do and gain from the, the coaching session is to actually have a run through of the, our PowerPoint presentation so that they can say, yes, this is good, this is bad, or this is, we can tweak the whole pr presentation so that it's as good as it can be. Because um, we, we already know the stuff and we know our business and we know our product and etc etc. But it's the actual nuts and bolts of presenting it in a proper and um, an effective manner. The original concept for 
Octopus Dream was to produce uh, an environmental magazine based on global change and global climate issues within the Caribbean and Barbados. Um, for this, we researched uh, recycled paper, hence BFRP, BFRP was born. And from that, we then make numerous products, uh, business cards, gift cards, etc., etc. And we felt that having made the paper, the, the magazine would be better served as an online entity from our fully developed website that we produce. With the Dominica aspect, when that comes online, it would be a bi -con bilateral country employment prospects because we'd have the um, plant in Dominica employing people locally there and also employing people through the ports and the import export aspect of it and also from uh, the aspects of Dominica has a lot of paper, a lot of bananas and not much paper. And what we would do is increase our handmade section here to increase the waste paper collection here. It was a good start, but coach Dolores Thomas had some concerns about John's delivery. I struggled to listen because I could hardly hear you. And then your pitch was basically monotonous. You do speak softly. I can see, I, I would say then, you have a gentle soul. So I understand that. However, something needs to be projected more yeah. when you're showing your passion for this project. Because you are passionate for the project. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Very simple. You build off of your points. You expand on the points as well. What do you want to do? What do, you want the, what do you want me as the investor to invest in? How much money do you want me to put into your business? Are you want, do you want me to help you build that paper mill in Dominica? How much paper then can you generate by hands and how many hands do you need? So what are you asking for? Are you, is this an opportunity just to market your BFRP? No, it's more of a, um, a chance to expand what we can do operation with the BFRP. Right. And so we can then capitalize on the export potential, etc, etc, etc. You need to also convince um, the, the audience or the investors. My coaching session was very good. Um, Brian and Dolores gave some very good feedback uh, on my performance, the whole presentation, um, other items that we need to put in there to make sure that um, the judges on the day actually have the information they can they have and they need to make the, the investment or not as, 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 as so be it. So I've got work to do and that work will be done and we come back and we've got, still got uh, two training sessions of virtual training sessions to go. So the, the feedback is good. Um, it's a little, little scary um, all of a sudden but it's just uh, yeah we've got work to do and we'll come back come back strong and we will succeed. Meanwhile, Trinidadian designer Mei Ling was confident that her experience and brand positioning would enable her fashion house to move forward in Breakpoint. I'm well positioned in the market, well positioned in, in the Caribbean. I think my name is a brand. I've been in business 30 years plus and I design women's wear. Um, I've been working in this business and this is my passion really, designing. It, Fashion is really my passion. I'm all about stepping out of the box and pushing my label to another level. Whatever is the success of Mailing? Mailing is known throughout the Caribbean and a little bit in big cities. But what is my success? My success is not just the talent that I've been gifted with. My success, success is the quality garment and the service that I've delivered over the years. And to be around for 30 odd years, I must be doing something right. The versatility of our modular designs Sometimes a, a dress or a skirt, let's say, for a skirt may now maybe be able to be worn as a dress. I always want multiple wearings out of one garment, and I think this is a twist of melee. How do I attack marketing and sales? I try to participate in every fashion week throughout the Caribbean, and a lot of them I'm proud to say that I've been invited to and have been like the invited or the star designer. I've shown in, in South America, I've shown in the DR, and I've shown to standing ovations. 
participations in trade missions. This has been one or other. I've been on trade missions. Sometimes I find there's no follow-up after these trade missions, and it's very difficult for, for me to follow up, like in the UK or in Europe. But I think it's a must for my, for my company. Participation in trade shows. Of course, it's, it's better to get many buyers in one location than trying to go door to door to different shops. So it is like embracing a wider audience in one location. Mailing was delivering a strong pitch and coach Marjorie Wharton wanted to find out more about her brand appeal. The mailing brand, as you've said, known across the region. What is the brand appeal that is going to take it from the Caribbean into the markets that you want to get to? I think the brand appeal that I want to sell is that this product doesn't only lend itself to the Caribbean. So if I were to get a distributor who would want to sell me in Europe, they would see that it would have a certain cachet, or as I say, it can translate into a city life. But let's say that you were, the product was going to be taken into a European market. There are other designers there that are doing that. There are other designers that are paying attention to the hand detail, yeah. the hand woven. What um, would make a difference? What makes your brand, what makes them choose to take Mei Ling over another that they may know? If I were to sell it to someone who had a shop who was buying, it will have to be all the fashion marketing that will come with it. It will have to tell a story of where I come from, the Caribbean, the cool beaches. and I mean, it will have to be a fashion story, really, because as I say, nothing that we are making is different in terms of a shirt, it's a shirt. Mm -hmm. But what makes it different is the workmanship. You need to tell that story and the passion that you put into it. You need to put okay, that so give them so that whole, yes, yes. I have yeah. to tell a story about where you we have to create from. the story about the brand. Yeah, oh. because your brand is strong in the Caribbean. Yes. And the persons that you will be presenting to may not be as familiar with yes. your brand or may not have a connection with the brand. Mm -hmm. So being able really to start from even a little bit of the history and where you want to go is important. Well, I'm just out from my coaching session and what a quick, was it 30 minutes, which I wanted to get more information, but what I got was very, very helpful. So I have to go back to the drawing board and prepare all over again. Well, not all over again, but they made very, very valid points. Uh, it was very informative and now I just try to correct where I went wrong and improve what I've done. See how the candidates perform at the regional pitches when we return on Breakpoint. With all the training completed, the candidates moved forward with their new skills to the regional pitches, which took place in three countries, Barbados, St. Lucia and Jamaica. We first head to the regional pitches in Barbados, with the eco-friendly paper manufacturer, Octopus 3. John faced a tough session with his coaches in the preliminary round, but it encouraged him to put in some extra practice before his regional pitch, at which he was assisted by his wife, Amanda Fane Cleaver. I'm about to go see the judges, and I'm a little bit nervous because it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but what we've done is we just practice, 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 and keep running through it, keep running through it to try and hone it as best as we can. Good morning, it's nice to finally meet you. My name is, is John Fane Cleaver from Octopus 3, and we make handmade banana fiber recycled paper. And from this we make a range of products business cards, gift cards, invitations, clocks and certificates, some of which you'll see in front of you and some of which you'll see on the screen as we go through. When you walk into a store, you're faced with a mass-produced item that looks like thousands of other products. And what you have is you also have a product that is made from virgin wood pulp. And this is also contains chemicals to make it white, to make it clean, to make it look nice. These chemicals and the virgin wood pulp have a negative impact on the environment. With BRFRP products, we have the answer, we believe, because our products look and feel completely different. Our products are 100% environmentally friendly, which means there is no virgin wood pulp, there is no chemicals. Octopus 3 is already marketing itself within the Barbados market. Our current status and size means we have limited sales, but we have
private customers and retail clients. Our longer term goal is a, is a paper mill which, we, which we'd like to set up in Dominica. We went to the United Nations and got an expressions of interest for once the paper, the mill was up and running, which would produce normal photocopier paper that everybody uses every day. They would trial it within their offices and trial it within the offices around the country, around the world, sorry, which was 192 countries. So based on that, we knew we had a really good project. Octopus 3 is in no hurry to get to the end goal of, of Dominica. That is a, a five year in our business plan as, a, as something that we see ourselves working towards. John Fain Cleaver certainly knows his product, but the length of time for market readiness raised alarm bells with Dominican judge Kenneth Green. How do you anticipate being able to stall the process um, of what most people will be interested in, which is to get to the end product of the paper mill so that you can up production to be an export ready business. I mean, it's, right now you're a, a relatively a micro enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, an investor who sees interest in this is not going to say, well, let's wait five years for you to get to the level of being of ready. Not. Yeah, so how do you anticipate being able to, to do this? There is machinery sitting in China that on a phone call, they would come and set the whole thing up and stay until everybody was trained before they walked away so that is maybe not as far away as we th it may seem mm -hmm. but it's it's whether our push as I say you know when we entered the competition we didn't enter the competition to really put Dominique on, 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 the, on the platform and maybe that is something that we should have maybe given more thought. Trinidadian fashion designer Mei Ling had to attend Caribbean Fashion Week in Jamaica and so sent her business development manager, Charlene Chin, in her place to step forward to represent at the regional pitch. I've been preparing non-stop for this event because we really want to put our best foot forward. Mailing has a great brand and we feel it's time for her to uh, enter the international runway and we believe that with Breakpoint it's an opportunity to really get there. Mailing is not just a premier Caribbean fashion designer. We believe the brand, the designs, they're ready for the international stage and we hope Breakpoint will get us there. My name is Charlene Chin and I'm the Business Development Manager for Mailing Inc. Limited. Mailing is presently in Jamaica where she's just showing at Caribbean Fashion Week. Some of you may know that Caribbean Fashion Week is the most important fashion event for the region. So what makes Mailing so Mailing? Her designs have deceptively simple silhouettes, but they're infused with great detail and created with innovative cuts. Uh, the mailing, mailing believes that less is more, and the relationship between the wearer and the garment is very important. So often her designs have little details that only the wearer is aware of, which makes the outfit doubly exciting for them. And of course, everything is done with the finest materials and quality workmanship. Our customer, we fondly call her the Mailing Easter, is about 25 to 60 years old. I dare say she's even a little older, but I guarantee you she doesn't look it. She is a professional, she's well educated, she is a high ranking official. Uh, middle to upper management, a businesswoman, and she travels the world, but she still comes back to Trinidad to shop at Mailing. Atelier has about 16 employees, and Mailing oversees all aspects. Then there is a business manager who does day-to-day -day operations. There is me, and I look for new business. I do marketing, publicity, and there's a production manager who oversees all the technicians. But because we're small and we're such a cohesive group, everyone has to roll up their sleeves to help when we need to pick up the slack. I have occasionally gone and helped sell in the store. I've attended fittings. I certainly make presentations to, to various uh, groups. Charlene had certainly captured the judge's attention, but Grenadian judge Alan Brzezinski was concerned about managing quality control with the expansion of the business. Yeah. 
Well, mailing is the head designer, but it's like anything else. I mean, Alexander McQueen died, but he has a designer who took over. So we were, we are, we are, well, actually, we are looking for a designer. We have interns that we are actually been looking at to see who could be the next designer or, or a team of designers. I mean, Calvin Klein does not design anymore. He has a team of designers. So, and he's alive. Our business is small, but we're like the little engine that could. Mailing produces a line called M Squared, and it's sold in a small chain of stores called Mickles in Trinidad. And all the items are made in China, and they come in at a price point 20 to 50 US, so it's more accessible to the general public. Here's a little bit more about the Economic Partnership Agreement. The EPA opens markets for trade and goods with the European Union. 98% of products from the Cariform region entering the market of the 27 European countries will pay zero tariffs without favors or concessions. Who will remain calm and who will be under pressure when we come back on Breakpoint? Back at the regional pitch for Octopus 3, John was trying to recover from some tough questions by presenting the strengths of his brand. Banana fiber recycled paper utilizes the waste from two industries, agriculture and corporate Barbados. We take banana trees once the bananas have been harvested and shred it off his paper and blend them together to make a biodegradable, environmentally friendly paper. We're looking to enter Europe through the UK market. Uh, we're looking for a distributor within London. The, the UK card market was 2.1 billion US dollars. And even if we had a small portion of that, we would have a very large sales figure. Um, the UK office paper alone was 1.2 million tons. And again, from the mill that we're making and we want to put up in Dominica, that would service, it, again, even a small portion of that because our, the tonnage from the Dominica mill can create roughly 20 tons a day. So to, to service the clients we have, that would be a nice, successful market that we could get, enter into. So our ex competition within the UK and the Europe market is existing stationery and retailers and manufacturers. All of our products are designed and created and printed by ourselves. And for the th issues that we don't know about, because we know about paper, we know how to make it, we know how to produce it, but there are areas that we don't know. So we have an, an accountant, and we also lease our own piece of land to grow our own banana stock. We're looking for 90,000 US dollars. And for the Dominica entity, for 700,000 US dollars. Because those two are smaller, Barbados is smaller, and much handmade, and it's just a question of getting a unit, and buying very simple tools to do what we do. The Dominica end is huge, so therefore it's a much larger project and will take longer time. <coughs> We're offering a 25% equity stake in our company for a 10% return on investment, and for that we would like the money plus also the assistance, the, the technical assistance that we don't know, the, 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 the business skills that we don't know. John was finally through his presentation, but Dominican judge Kenneth Green had concerns about his current business model. Uh, you, you've not spoken much about what your current business is doing okay. um, in terms of your numbers, um, whether it be relatively small or not. How are you doing? Um, at the moment, in action, we have about four orders that are running alongside each other and they're really difficult to manipulate because they call for different things. In terms of the banana, actual banana recycling, are you the only company doing, doing this right now? I think um, we are, the banana fiber paper is not new. Um, there are numerous companies around the world making banana fiber in various different, different formats. But those companies are making, some of them are making packaging uh, some of them are making more uh, gift item issues like notepads and diaries and calendars and things. Who actually produces the paper now? We do. We do. The three, the three of us. Yeah. 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 
And like I say, it's a, it's a small, at the moment, Octopus 3, because of our status and um, location, it's a small operation. I've just seen the judges and I feel good. It went really well, um, it went smoothly, it went to time, which was the most important bit. But uh, also I got the information across and I felt it was interesting and they were motivated by what I was saying. So hopefully, come August, we'll be in London. Back at Trinidadian Fashion House Mailing, Business Development Manager Charlene was advocating diversification in reaction to the current economic climate. To move forward, our team is going to have to change. We launched a store in a virtual world called Second Life. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's a platform that has over 29 million registered users around the world. And from there, we got some really interesting metrics of where we thought mailing could be potentially popular. And I'd like to tell you that these figures here, these are the figures from the views that we received, but this blog is syndicated to several blogs. It's actually hundreds of thousands of views. And we found that she's popular, most popular in the States, Trinidad, Japan, uh, Germany, and one of the biggest surprises was Russia. What I'd like to leave you with are photos of her latest collection, which she just showed uh, a couple uh, weeks ago, and this is actually being shown at Caribbean Fashion Week. We believe we need an investment to, really, to get the word out um, in marketing and HR and expansion. We need about 40,000 US to attend two trade shows, two separate trade show events a year. And we would need about another 160,000 to get the HR and expansion that we need. Uh, and we believe that we are really ready for, to enter the international marketplace. But I don't want you to just take my word for it. When Mailing was at London Fashion Week earlier this year, she met with a gentleman called David Jones. And David Jones, he is the founding member of the Wallace Group of Shops, which launched major brands, Karen Millen and Matthew Williamson. And he looked at Mailing's collection at, at uh, London Fashion Week. And he said that Mailing has quality was excellent quality, and he deemed them more than ready to enter the international marketplace. So we need someone who can mentor us, who can guide us, and who can help us get on the run, world runway. We have the talent, it's there. We have the tenacity and drive and the discipline to, to get out there, and we are more than ready willing and able with the right partner to enter the international runway. So Charlene had done a professional job for Mei Ling, but Jamaican judge Joseph Matlon pressed her for market specifics. What market are you seeking? It would be London, it would be Paris, we would talk Berlin. Or, so that's basically, we were just targeting the bigger cities uh, where people are more fashion conscious. You mentioned you're going to the big cities, etc. But are you going to the, the 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 lead buyers in each of the large department firms? Are you going to boutiques? Who are you going? Well, I think initially it's going to be the boutiques. You know, we believe it's going to be a niche, a niche line. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty well where we, the direction we'd, we'd have to take. Yeah. So a lot of uh, my follow-up question to this: a lot of your effort and time is going to be spent pitching to these people directly? Not, or no, the trade shows. When you go to these trade shows, because they, everybody's there. Everybody that they need to see is there. They don't have to, to spend time you know, making appointments to see you, even in their own shops. And it's really much more efficient way for everybody to do business. I just met with the judges, and I think it went very well. I was nervous at the beginning, and then I just calmed down. I knew my material prepared and I you know, believe that I put my best foot forward and we've just put it out there that we are going to Europe. When the pitches were finished, the judges discussed the merits of each candidate. I think Mailing has a product that is distinctive in its creativity and I think an opportunity for her to be featured against some of the big names in design. I think it's something that is worth us promoting or recommending for promotion. The 
data, etc., was not there, in my opinion. You remember that question Management. about the succession? Yes. I, I'm not, I was not convinced. Absolutely. But, you know, she actually responded. She created her own terms. issue because she responded to Alan's question by saying that they would, in time, get to the point where they would appoint people to succeed. Sorry. Well, Not actually, necessary. when you get to the top guys, yeah. the top guys don't design any longer. No, yeah. no, no. Like I'm Versace and Ravel. Absolutely. But, you know, she actually responded. She created her own terms. issue because she responded to Alan's question by saying that they would, in time, get to the point where they would appoint people to succeed. Again, her business, in terms of the business acumen with, re with relative to what we want, in, in terms of the data, etc., was not there, in my opinion. But again, she represents a best of breed in a sector, in the fashion design sector. Octopus 3, I thought, was, was fairly weak. Um, certainly not ready for export. Interesting business model, but, you know, it's really just a startup. I just don't think they're ready as yet. It's a good product though, but not ready. It's a good product, but I couldn't find the brand, brand appeal or the story that would actually, you know, make it sell in, in the EU. They're too early for the positioning to enter the EU at this stage. Who is the budding entrepreneur that will go through to the next round? The visionary producer of recycled paper? Or the convincing fashion designer with an eye on Europe? Find out next who will be going through to London on Breakpoint. After the regional pitches were completed and the judges had evaluated the merits of each candidate, they decided that the Trinidadian Fashion House mailing would go through to the next round in London. I'm well positioned in the market, well positioned in, in the Caribbean. I think my name is a brand, a serious brand that is known throughout the Caribbean, a brand that has paid a lot of attention to detail and marketing, a brand that now deserves to go have a further reach more into the Caribbean and out of the Caribbean. And I think I've worked many, many years to, to really hone it into something that is very special and very Caribbean, but can also be understood and translated out of the Caribbean. For instance, if a woman buys a shirt while she's holidaying in Barbados or Jamaica or any other island, she can still take it back to a city like New York, London, Paris, and wear it in that ambiance and wear it with her spring jacket. So I think it's, although it's a brand that has been born and bred in the Caribbean, it can stand anywhere in the world. Over the journey of the past eight weeks, we have seen 30 companies from 15 countries with one goal in mind, to convince top regional judges to select them to pitch their businesses in London in front of angel investors, distributors and retailers. Here are the successful firms. Bespoke jewelry producer Christian Fries hails from Barbados. Potentially successful business model within the context of the Caribbean. Sole proprietor Keith Shepard gave a solid presentation and was as passionate about his company as he was about his custom jewelry. The name of the company um, is actually the name of my first son. Um, it's to remind me of how precious the company is and my passion for jewelry. It's also to convey to the customer something of value. The Biotech R&D Institute is a research and agro-processing firm. It had some innovative strengths and, um, and I rated them highly for that. Deputy CEO Charlene Ashley put on a convincing pitch and had taken full advantage of the regional judge's advice to stress the uniqueness of her Jamaican product. We are very confident in our products, the differentiator in our nutraceuticals as well as our teas, and of course the porridges and our sports drinks with the tubas, the yellow yam, the sweet potato, which has been proven to contribute to the Jamaican's athletic prowess. Merck Import is a company based in the Dominican Republic that manufactures an eco-friendly steam generator. Amazing, innovative technology. You have a, an incredible product. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind about that. After a strong showing at their regional pitch, Diana Feliz had every confidence in her product. Bottom line is that it's very simple and flexible, and it has a lot of features that the competition just doesn't have. Barbadian online retail and technology company, IL7, brands itself with the slogan Think Caribbean Super Mall online. I thought his presentation was good. Company founder Byron Gibson delivered a strong presentation 
and believes strongly in his product's unique selling point. We want to be the, the definitive place for Caribbean culture globally. And for us, the sale of products is simply the physical transfer of culture between our region and the rest of the world. Central Food Packers is one of the leading agro-processing manufacturers in Jamaica, with over 22 products and exporting 90% of its output. I think it's a very strong point that you have that you dominate your local market. Although she was nervous, marketing manager Natalie Grandinson represented well. Central Food Packers Limited, manufacturers of Sunrite and Sunrite Select brand, highest quality Jamaican foods you'll find on the export market. Family-owned Woodsman Caribbean Limited produces Caribbean-inspired condiments and food products. I liked how he's portraying the Caribbean, you know, with the Jamaica plus the Trinidad in it. Vassal Stewart had a positive experience with both his presentation and the taste test for the judges. I feel quite satisfied that the presentation went well. If I'm to judge from the judge's response, which was, I think, very positive, I think I made a presentation in the time that was allotted. I think I, were, I was able to convey the things I thought were important. Um, most importantly, I was able to have a demonstration of a product. Building on years of experience with the parent magazine, Island Life Television was intent on promoting the Caribbean as an exotic travel destination. Island Life TV, I thought, competed for the presentation of the day. They could certainly sell the Caribbean. They'll be, they'll be great. Christine Ferreira and Sandra Bosher were confident in the strength of their brand. We've created a brand, Island Life, which depicts Caribbean lifestyle excellence. And we're bringing Island Life to the world. Jamaican agro-processing company Southside Distributors has already enjoyed export success. Someone who's a fighter, someone who, who's going to come out against the odds. Company founder Denise Palmer had a shaky start to her coaching session, but had since done a lot of work and gave a credible presentation at her regional pitch. My experience with the judges was very good. I was relaxed, I did my presentation and they, were, they had some very good questions. Not only that, they gave me some suggestions which I will really look at and implement. Hailing from Trinidad, Sasha Cosmetics manufactures makeup for diverse skin tones and has been the official cosmetics of the Miss Universe pageant. It's a fantastic product that could go places. CEO Dr. Uttam Maharaj was fully prepared for his presentation and strongly believed in his product. We target exotic skin tones because that's an unfulfilled niche. In the non-Caucasian brands, there's a handful, and we believe we're the best. Trinidadian fashion house Mailing is renowned for its quality fabrics, design and functionality, and has had 30 plus years in the business. She represents a best of breed in a sector, in the fashion design sector. Company owner Mailing was confident that her experience and brand positioning would help enable her fashion house to be successful in Breakpoint. To me, it's a win-win situation. All morning long, I've been saying, I'm going to make the final cut. But you know what? Even if I don't make the final cut, this is a whole of an education. It's a new step for me. It teaches me how to pitch to anyone about my brand. So it is a win-win situation. 10 successful firms, 10 diverse backgrounds and products, but each showcasing the best of breed in the Caribbean. They were joined in London by two firms who had already completed successful pitches in the Grenada pilot launch of Breakpoint in January 2012. Smacks Tea and Pandora Security Systems. The manager for competitiveness and innovation for Caribbean export, Chris McNair, explains. Initially when we conceptualized Breakpoint, um, we wanted an opportunity to actually have a pilot project um, to test it, so to speak. Um, so what we did was we partnered with UKTI, which is UK Trade and Invest, um, and within the, the context of the 7th um, CARA Forum, uh, UK Investment Forum in Grenada in January last year, we actually had a pilot or a test um, breakpoint, so to speak, where we had six companies from across four different countries participate by pitching their, 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 their business models and ideas to investors from the UK and from the Caribbean. The idea was to, to kind of get a sense as, you know, do we have companies that can actually um, uh, make it uh, globally? Do we have companies that can actually um, take advantage of the EPA, which is the main focus of, of, of Breakpoint? Um, and then these investors, these business persons would actually vet those six companies and tell us if, if they make any sense. Um, it went fantastically well. Um, the, the, uh, the investors, um, the persons vetting the six companies thought they were excellent ideas, and two were act actually selected from that. Um, Smacks Tea from Trinidad, 
and Pandora from, from Barbados, those two firms were actually selected from that process to be funded by UK Trade and, and Invest to then go to England um, and actually meet with, um, with business persons who would be interested in, in their ideas. Those two firms were also automatically selected for the final of Breakpoint to be held in London during London in, in Gay Junior Olympics. So what you find is that we had 10 companies from the regional competition coming out of the 10 companies coming out of the regional competition along with two that came from the, pro the pilot project in Grenada and then all 12 were presented at London Engage in London. Hailing from Trinidad and Tobago, Smacks Tea is a family-run business specializing in organically grown and custom flavored bespoke tea. The company was founded in 1980 and focuses on craftsmanship and brand quality. The creative director for Smacks Tea is Kira Nakal. Barbadian company Pandora Security Systems offers transportation security solutions for shipping materials, ranging in size from envelopes to intermodal containers. They also offer remote examination capacity for non-intrusive inspection of these materials. Representative for the company is Information Systems Specialist David Weeks. Over the last eight weeks, we've followed the journeys of 30 companies. And for 12 of them, that journey has led all the way to London, with their opportunity to present their business proposals to industry moguls. Don't miss what happens next week. Who's the perfect partner? Who's the one that you think you wake up in the morning going, that's the one I really want? What's their name? Kraft. Thank you. Do you pick Kraft because of their sheer size? Size recognition of the, of the, of the brand name. And they already have begun to, to, to look at Caribbean and ethnic products. I think you've got a wonderful sauce, a fantastic flavor. And I'm still recovering, but I loved it. <laughs> you still, I think, have a market entry, Joan. Yes, I agree with that in the UK with the teas. I'm not, I just, I'd have to taste it to believe that sure. as on a standalone basis that that taste flavor would be a tea taste flavor. Yes. So I put a 570 grand in. How do I get money out? You're going to be entitled to 20% of the business. Then I have 20%. Now how do I get my money out? That's negotiable. Hope. No, it's not. It's a plan <laughs> of action. It's not a negotiation between us. Don't miss what happens next week on Breakpoint. Here is the contact information for each of the firms represented in today's show. We wish all our firms every success with their business. Caribbean Airlines.